am so excited that I have paid off my auto loan, y'all. I was telling you guys that I wanted to pay off my auto loan within one year and I did it. I am so excited that I did it. Y'all, people ask me how I did it and sometimes I'm even just like, I cannot believe that I actually did it. And I'm very, very happy that I did. But you know what? You know what I'm thinking about it? On average, I bring home $3,400 a month. I'm just like, whoa, like sometimes I can't even believe that I did it. But y'all, in this video, I'm going to tell you how I did it. Let's get into it. Hey, everybody. I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group, where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about credit, budgeting, and student loans. I am so excited that I have paid off the auto loan, but I am going to tell you guys how I did it. So I got my 2021 Hyundai Tucson October the 29th of 2020. <laughs> now you're saying, okay, that's not a year, but I did not start paying my auto loan until December 18th of 2020. So December 18th of 2020 through December 10th of 2021, that's how long it took me to pay off the auto loan. So technically it was less than one year. Now my auto loan was for $20,299 for 60 months with a 2.19% interest rate. And my auto loan monthly payment was $357 and 95 cents <laughs> when i got the auto loan i was just like i'm gonna pay it off 30 months because i had a card previously that i was almost finished paying off and i think i only had like three thousand dollars left on the loan and so really i wasn't really wanting to get an auto loan but my car was starting to have some issues so i went ahead and got an auto loan and i said that okay i'm gonna pay it off in 30 months and so really i probably could have went ahead and got the auto loan for 30 months opposed to 60 months <laughs> but i was just like if i get the auto loan for 30 months i want to say my interest rate was going to be 1.79 but i think that was going to make the monthly payment like over like $649. And I'm just like, I don't know about that. Cause it's a big difference between me getting an auto loan for 30 months and me getting it for 60 months. Cause I was thinking, well, I can get it for 60 months and then my auto loan will be $357. And then I can make extra payments because when I had my other auto loan, I was making extra payments on it. So I'm just like, I'm gonna be able to do this. Now, I really wasn't until January of 2021 to where I was crunching the numbers because I love to crunch the numbers. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna be able to pay the auto loan off in one year opposed to 60 months or 30 months because 30 months was my original goal. So I'm gonna give you five ways that I was able to pay my auto loan off in one year. First is goal setting now you cannot complete any goals without creating a plan and that is one just writing down what it is that you're wanting to do so when i first got the auto loan originally i said that i'm going to pay it off in 30 months opposed to 60 months so my brain is already figuring out how am i going to do this now i can say when i first created this goal for myself i mean one saying that i'm gonna pay the auto loan off in 30 months i still feel like that's a pretty big goal but then also saying that i'm gonna pay it off in 12 months now that's even bigger so you know sometimes we think that our goals are impossible but i really feel like once i got into it i got more and more excited about it so that's why one we have to write the goal down and then we have to strategize how we're gonna make the goal happen and then as we're going through the goal, making it happen, I feel like we really get excited about it. And sometimes we can revise our goal to speed up or we can revise our goal to slow down. And that's okay either way. And so when I originally had the goal for 30 months, but then in January when I started crunching the numbers, I really kind of sped it up because I really started thinking about it and I really got excited 
about doing it. And so that's how I was able to do it. So number one, creating the goal, that is gonna be the number one thing that we have to do. Second tip is, and y'all already know if you watching my channel what I was gonna say, and really it probably should have been number one, but number two is gonna be to create a budget. Now remember, in the beginning of the video, I said that on average, I make and bring home $3,400 a month. So really you're thinking, how can I pay off an auto loan in one year, bringing home $3,400 a month? And I say, by creating a budget, because I know how much money is coming in compared to how much money is going out, and then how much money do I have left over? Now, for me, I always want to keep my expenses down. So y'all know every month I do my budget. So you definitely have to subscribe to the channel because every month I do my budget and we can do our budgets together. You can drop down in the description and get my free budget and debt repayment template. And you can go over to my Etsy shop if you would like, because really soon, probably one day this week, I'm going to have my 2022 digital budget available and you have to check it out come on over every month and we can do our budgets together but knowing how much money we have coming in compared to going out and then what we have left over is really going to give me a realistic idea of how i'm going to be able to do this and that's why creating a budget is very important and then two we want to do our debt repayment and our debt snowball so for me my main debt was my car because I don't have any credit card debt. Now I do have student loan debt, but you guys know right now we're not paying on our student loans until <laughs> January 31st. And Biden is saying that he's not gonna budge on the extension of the no student loan or no interest on the student loans. And I don't know if he's gonna be paying or forgiving $10,000 or even $50,000 on our student loans but I, hopefully there's still more to come on that. So on one part, I did take the monthly payment of my student loan because I wanna say it was March of 2020 where they had stopped the student loan payments, but I still made my student loan payment up until I wanna say either October or November of 2020. <laughs> and now that I look back, I'm just like, I'm kinda kicking myself for that, but, to see my student loans actually go down. I'm not gonna kick myself too bad for it, but really I probably could have saved that money because that's pretty much was almost a whole year. But from, but I would say a whole year of me not paying my student loans, I basically reallocated the student loan payment over to my auto loan. And that equal to be, I wanna say, $4,320. Now, later in the video, we're going to go over how I made my payments, but I just want to let you know when we're doing our budget and then even when we're doing our debt repayment, we're seeing how much money we have come in. But then also if things change with our budget, we can reallocate that money. And that's basically what I did. I reallocated that student loan payment and that was able to help me to pay the auto loan off as well. Now, number two and number three kind of go hand in hand because number three is understand your spending. So what I like to do is I can take three months of my bank statements and my credit card statements because I like to use my credit cards like a debit card so that I can get the points and all that. But if you're not using your credit card, you can take three months of your bank statements and really look at your spending to see what you are spending your money on. Because since we're gonna be doing our debt snowball, once we have all of our bills worked down, we wanna see how much extra money do we have left over so that we can maybe put that towards our debt snowball. So when I did my budget, and basically I reallocated that student loan payment that I was making, but then since they had us on a no student loan payment, then I moved that over to, okay, here's the extra money that I have left over. So us just understand our money. And then this is gonna help us to say, do I need to get another job? 
Do I make enough money? How much money can I put on that debt? So that's why it's good for us to still look at our all of our expenses through our, you know, our bill pay or our credit cards to see where is our money going. And then like for me, y'all, so like last September, y'all, I was going to Starbucks probably like every day or every other day and see I was spending probably over a hundred dollars at Starbucks. But did I really need to spend that money? Especially since I have a goal because when we have a goal and we're trying to do something, you know, we really want to create and finish this goal. Sometimes we might have to cut back on some things. Now it doesn't mean that we're going to have to cut back all the time, but since I really wanted to, you know, this, this goal could have really seemed like it was impossible, but by me really creating a goal for myself, knowing how much money I have coming in, understanding my, my spending habits, I can really create the best plan for myself. Now we all know like Dave Ramsey, he'll say, you know, we're going to do the baby step. So first we're going to had save a thousand dollars then second we're gonna do our debt snowball but what does he say it's like rice and beans you're gonna be working now for myself i'm not necessarily saying that we gotta cut everything out but it's really good to understand how we're spending our money to see okay well maybe i don't have to eat out five days a week maybe i can just eat out three days a week and by me reallocating that money over here, it can help me to get to my goal really fast. And so that's what I'm saying, because, you know, maybe one year or six months, because it might not take you as long as it did me. But by us knowing where we can reallocate that money is definitely going to help us. Number four. Now, this is my favorite. <laughs> when we get extra money, put the money on the actual you know debt repayment so basically what i did in january i really started thinking about okay how much money am i gonna be have coming in for the year so there are for me i get paid bi-weekly there are two times within the year that i get paid three times so i'm gonna have an extra check twice in one year so i was just like okay that's gonna help me out so then when I would get that money in, now I'm not saying that you have to use all of it, but if you use a good amount of it, so like I said, later in the video, I'm gonna show you how I made the payments. But for instance, in April, I had got paid one extra check. So I took $1,400 of that check and I just paid it on the car. Then let's say if you're gonna get income taxes, if you're gonna get a bonus, if you get paid three times within the month, that's gonna be an extra check. You know, even if you have a side hustle. Now I have my YouTube channel, but I didn't use any of my YouTube channel because I would put all the money for my YouTube channel towards my business. Now in December, <laughs> y'all, I did pay myself, I wanna say $393. In December this month, well, earlier in the month, I paid myself because I was getting nervous, wondering if I was going to be able to pay the car off. And so I was just like, I'm going to pay myself this month. <laughs> and so I did pay myself, but coming down, I really didn't even have to do that. But I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to make my goal. And I did pay myself. Additionally, I did the savings challenge. So I did the 2021 Major Change Group 26-week $5,000 savings challenge. And so I had saved $5,000, but really I saved $10,000. But for the first six months of the year, you know, I want to say monthly, I would do videos, just talk about my progress. But the second half of the year, I didn't really talk about it unless if you were watching my budget with me videos, then you would see when I would save the extra money. So then I was just saving the extra money too. And then in July, I had made a big payment on the car. And then in November, I want to say I made a big payment. So, I mean, that's kind of a little bit different from the extra money because I was actually saving that out of my regular check. But for the most part, I'm talking about 
if you get paid three times in one month, if you get income taxes back, if you are getting a bonus, if you're getting stimulus, any money that you're going to be getting in, basically, I would put that money, if not all, most. And then that's how I was able to pay the car off early as well. Number five is going to be making the principal payments on your auto loan. So for my auto loan, I pay $357.95 per month. And I want to say the first month, I just paid the regular payment, $357. But then the next month, what I would do, now you can use your amortization table or you can go into the table through your bank or your credit union or whoever you're making your payments to and they'll give you a breakdown of how much interest is accruing on the auto loan every month. And so in the beginning, you know, it would accrue a lot more interest. About the time I had got down to the end, I mean, it was barely accruing even a dollar a month. And so what happens is when we're making those principal payments on the auto loan, it's basically helping to reduce that principal so that when they're putting the interest on there, it's going to be lower and lower and lower because we're getting that principal down on the auto loan. Now on my auto loan, if I would have paid the regular payments, in a five year period, so in a 60 months, I would have paid like $1,150 in interest on my auto loan. But by me paying the auto loan off in 12 months, I only ended up paying like $340 in interest. So I didn't even end up paying a full car note of interest on you know for the whole loan so that was great so i pretty much saved over 650 dollars about a little bit more i saved that in interest by paying the car off in one year <laughs> so that is amazing y'all i'm just I still can't even believe I did it, but I'm telling you, if you create the goal for yourself, make it plain, then create your budget, understand your spending habits, any money that you have coming in extra, put it on the auto loan. If you don't want to put all of it, but I'm telling you, once you start, now you can use this on any debt that you have. Now this is for paying the auto loan off early, but you can really do this for any loan that you have. But I think what happened with me, once I really started getting into it, I really got excited and I wanted to make it happen. Now, I'm not gonna say that it was easy because especially kind of like around my birthday in May, because me and my sister, we did do like a staycation in May. So really, I probably could have paid the auto loan off a whole lot earlier but we had did like a staycation. Also in May, my property taxes went up on my house. So what happened, my escrow, I didn't have enough in there for the property taxes. And so I think I ended up paying maybe like 500, no more than $600. One, because I did not want my mortgage to go up too much. And so I went ahead and paid that. And then it did go up a little bit but not a whole lot since I paid it. But technically, that was like one and a half payments that I had made, you know, since the property taxes went up. But if that wouldn't have happened, see, I would have still been able to pay the auto loan off a little bit earlier if that didn't happen. So there were times that, you know, I did spend money on other things that either came up unexpectedly or even, you know, like a planned trip. To where I wasn't able to pay the auto loan off faster. And so that's what I'm saying by us making the actual goal for ourselves, but then also revising the goal as needed. So you can revise it to pay it off a lot faster once you get going. Or if you need to, you can kind of back off a little bit. But I think the main thing is making sure to create the goal. <laughs> but let me know in the comments what was some. 2021 goals that you had accomplished for yourself. Did you pay your student loans off? Did you pay your auto loan off? Did you pay any credit card debt off? Did you save? Did you create a savings goal for yourself? What were some of the things that you had accomplished for yourself in 2021? 
And also, what are some goals that you are creating for yourself for 2022? Myself, I since I have paid the auto loan off, I'm going to want to reallocate that money. And I said that I wanted to give me a Roth IRA in 2022. And so that's what I'm going to do. That's one of my money goals for 2022 is creating a Roth IRA. <laughs> so let me know what some of your goals are because I know that we can do it. Always drop down in the description and get my free budget and debt repayment template. And also keep an eye out for my 2022 digital budget planner because I'm telling you, if it was not for me budgeting my money, I don't even think I would have been able to do this because it really helped me to tell my money what to do opposed to my money telling me what to do. <laughs> so that's why I really like budgeting. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to take a look at my payments, how I had made the payments. So as you can see, I made my first auto loan payment on December 18th of 2020. And I only made a regular payment. And then you can see in 20 and then you can see in January, I want to say I made like a $490 payment. And I want to say in March, then that's when I was making larger payments. In April, I had made larger payments because, see, I was getting my, um, I was bringing in extra money. And then you can see from the savings challenge, because I was doing the savings challenge, and then in July, I had made a $5,000 payment. And I'm telling you, when I made that $5,000 payment and I took it from, I want to say, it ended up being maybe... $12,000. Once I had got the auto loan to $12,000, that's when I really got excited. And I was just like, I can do this. It was very exciting. And then I just kept doing the savings challenge. But you can see it was a point to where, because <laughs> it seemed like the second part of the year, one, it was going by so fast. And then two, I stopped paying like those principal payments. And I was just, you know, whenever I would get some extra money, then I would pay on that. But then I was also doing the savings challenge because that was probably kind of the difficult part because it was like I was trying to do two things. And I don't know that I would suggest doing that because it did kind of make it a little bit because technically I was taking the money from one part to, you know, making those extra principal payments. And then plus I was trying to save at the same time. <laughs> so that was kind of funny, but all in all, you can see all of my payments on here and that's how I did it. So I thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend and turn your notification bell on so you will be the first to be notified when new content drops. I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game, it's a red stick.